Now let's take a look at another way of using clip editing in the arrangement view and this way we're primarily going to be looking at enhancing or changing the arrangement itself. I'm going to zoom in here at the beginning. And we oftentimes will see little fragments in here, something like this. I'm going to play from here. So we see on several tracks that there's actually a stutter kind of feel where we repeat a fragment of a clip, 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 fragment, 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 etc. So for now I'm going to go ahead and hide the lower section. So Command Option L for hiding the lower. I'm going to resize these so that they're all basically the same size. Pulling down Option and dragging any one resizes them all. And I'm going to pull down until we have a view I like. Now let's go ahead and solo. I'm clicking on the solo button here on the upper right and bringing my mouse back for playback right here on 4. Clicking here with the speaker icon. So if I wanted to use that section elsewhere, I can simply drag across and mark it. Now we've already seen that we consolidate. We can do that. We've talked about doing that through the edit, consolidate, or the key command itself. But also be aware that you can right click right here in this area and choose some sections, copy, duplicate it or repeat it right where it is, consolidate we can do from here, we can loop the selection, we can also add a different color to it. I'll go ahead and change the color and then I'm going to hold down option while I move this and that'll make it copy. For you on Windows that'll be the alternate key and so now I've moved this orange little stutter thing from a pre entrance into the hip hop to another section here within hip hop again. Again, I'm going to listen from 4, mouse here underneath 4 and clicking. Now let's hear that in context. I'm going to deactivate the solo button here, come back to 4 and begin playback by clicking. So we're finding fragments within the arrangement we like and using them elsewhere. Now that was just with a MIDI clip. I'm going to go forward now to the next marker and get to the roots reggae. Here we've got a reverb backwards kind of cymbal sound here. Okay, so we've got one little fragment in here that's slightly different and slower. Let's listen again. Coming back to here, double clicking on the marker or locate. Listen right here. This section right here is lower, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Again, just clicking and dragging across in the grid. Then again, I'm going to hold alternate or option for Mac. Click and hold on the border up top and move that around. And I'm copying it when I hold the alternate key. Let's listen again. Coming back to roots. Scroll bar to view, change the view. Now let's listen to that in context. Coming out of solo mode, deactivating that solo button. And we can see our orange little triangle here telling us we're going to play back from there. So I'm just going to press space. Lower. Okay, so now we've taken a backward section of audio and used it somewhere else in this arrangement. This is an easy thing to do. Coming on down, let's go down to the next locator using this arrow button here. Let's get the reggaeton and listen. Now here's that little stutter drum beat. I'm going to play again. I'm just going to mark that again, dragging cross in that actual grid where it is. Click and hold up top. And again, if you hold down the alternate key for Windows or Option on a Mac, you can pull this and copy it backwards. Then I'm going to start here from 45. So you can see now we're starting to spice up the arrangement by taking sections from within it and moving them around or adding them back in. Now this is a great little clip you might want to save. So again, if we open up our clip browser, clips, just create a new folder here under clips. I'm going to right click, create folder. We'll just call this 
stutter and hit enter. Now I actually want this at the top of my clips folder so I'm going to put it right here. We can hide down base now we can see stutter here. I'm going to click and hold and drag this over on top of stutter and drop it in. Now I'm going to leave it named regat one because it's in its own folder called stutter. Now I know where this stutter came from and we can use that at any point we want to. Okay, now hiding the browser again. Let's do one more quick section. Coming on down, next marker, and listening. I'm going to back up and listen to this Latin percussion section here. I'm going to solo it. Click in here and let's see what we've got. Now we've been taking short ones, but I do want to show you, you can certainly do as long as you want. So I'm going to grab this section here, Latin Percussion. Again, I'm going to copy it down here into this section. Now notice that it replaces what was there before. So we went to Vita Shake, back to Latin Percussion, then back to Vita Shake. So let's listen to that. I'm going to change my zoom a little bit. Click and hold, dragging upwards. And we'll start now at 61, clicking here with the speaker icon. Changing to Vita Shake. So you see now that we can copy and move and create our own clips from the arrangement view and enhance the song or the live set quite a bit. Alright, this concludes our look at using clip editing in the arrangement section.